Today is January the 6th, 2021. All right, this video is going to be kind of different, but I need you to really check it out and go all the way with me to the end, all right? Do not quit on me. Go all the way to the end, please, on this one. All right, here we go. Do If you don't know, if you have not heard yet and nobody's told you, they are coming, they are at the door, they are at the gates. You cannot let them in. Don't let them in. Let's talk about it. Let's go. a real threat. There are things coming against you that you don't even know about or not even realize. You could have been at work, you could have been asleep, you could be on vacation, you could have been doing something, but if you don't know, I need to tell you, don't let them in. You cannot let them through. You are the gatekeeper. You are the one that determines what goes and comes inside of your body. You are the spiritual gatekeeper. The things you look at matter. The things you touch matter. The things you eat matter. The things you say matter. The things you listen to. The things you, the places that you go, all of that matters. You cannot be lax and let your guard down or else they're gonna overrun you, take over, get inside and do whatever they want to do and then control you. You have to stand fast. You have to stand firm. Be sober, be alert. For your enemy, the roaring lion, he, I'm sorry, for your enemy, the devil, like a roaring lion, he's seeking someone he can devour. Hey, be careful, because the devil, he's crouched, he's crouched at your doorstep, trying to get you. It's real, man. Now, okay, now for real, if you watch the news, right, you saw the stuff happening with people going Capitol Hill, boom, getting in, doing their stuff, all right? This video wasn't supposed to happen today, all right? This was going to happen years later or months later. This is written down on a little list. But this is great timing for it because everyone sees the pictures. You see how they're getting into the Capitol Hill, right? They've seen all that stuff happening. Whatever, I don't care. We're not talking about Trump, not Trump, um, Biden. We don't care. We're not talking about politics right now. The greatest thing we can talk about is this, the spiritual attack that you are under, I am under every single day. It's just like that. There's a mob of things waiting to get into your life. They want to come into your house. They want to come into your family. And all they're going to do, according to John 10.10, 10, is they're going to kill, steal, and destroy. Nothing good comes whenever you let your guards down and boom, the enemy comes in and takes over and does whatever he pleases. Because you know what pleases the enemy? Killing, stealing, destroying. Those are the only things that happen whenever you let your guard down. All right? We're going to talk about the five gates, the five things that you have to. Now, this is not just me making this up, all right? I'm not just saying, oh, there could be more. These are the only five things that I saw that I've totally realized that I want to communicate to you because I was made aware of these, so I've been on guard trying to keep my best to keep this temple pure, all right? And I want you to be on guard, too. That way you can be as, I don't know what the word is, as oh, connected and fired up with the Holy Ghost, 24-7, not just on Sunday when you're at church and, ah, they got to set the atmosphere for you to feel it. No, you can live it. You can live in God's presence 24-7 because you're going to live in it for eternity anyway, right? So until you get your relationship with God, right, until you're working on that, borrow mine. Use mine. Take whatever you need from me to establish your own. Then once you get your own, go, baby, go. All right, let's go. First gateway, your eyes, the things that you see matter. You can't let darkness into your eyes because then, oh, that's what's going to come out of you. You're letting it in. Oh, it's, what are you looking at? What are you watching? Huh? We're supposed to keep our eyes up. Lord, let my eyes be fixed on you, Father. I, I need to see, what you look at matters. Oh, I'm just watching that girl. It's just a regular TV show. I'm just saying from a guy's perspective or a girl's perspective. Who knows? I mean, now they're all in bikinis now. Back in the day, you, Baywatch was the most scandalous show out there. And there were girls wearing one-piece suits on the show. Now, ba The Bachelor, what, Survivor? It's just normal now. That's just what's acceptable in the culture now. It doesn't have to be. Who said that, who said that that's what's normal now? Oh, the world, the people that are outside of God, outside of the church, them are saying it's okay. And so, oh, if they say it's okay, it's not. You were told what's okay. Don't look at a woman with lust. Boom. Don't look at somebody else with lust. Don't covet this or else you've already done it in your heart. So does looking at that edify me? Does that help me? Now, time out real quick. Well, should have said this before. Your body is the temple of the living God. Don't you know that? 
If you don't know, your body is the temple. God lives in you. That's literally what that means. There was a temple where God lived. Man, this is so deep. I want to just make this in one video so you can have it all. But we have to break this up into other parts too. And I'm trying not to right now. As I say that, I'm trying not to, right? The temple of the living God. There was three things. You had the outer court, the inner court, the holy of holies. Outer court, inner court, holy of holies. How many things? Three. Outer court, inner court, holy of holies. You are made of three things too. You are made of the body, the soul, the spirit. Body, soul, spirit. It's not a co God, the Trinity. You got the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. God, why are these threes always happen? Because God created us in his likeness in our image. It doesn't just stop with you or me or how we're built. It goes definitely with how we're built, but also with how, how God built things. The temple, wow, wow, this th three things, outer, inner, holy of holies where God dwelt. My shell, this physical thing, that's the outer. That my soul, that's the inner. It's my spirit, the thing that will live forever, that's the holy of holies where God dwells in us. So your body is the temple of the living God. What you look at matters. Are you making this temple dark? Are you, are you making the things around the spirit so hard and calloused that you can't even feel the spirit when it wants to do something? When God's nudging and tugging and telling you what to do? If you can't feel it anymore, dang, man, you got to pray that God will replace that heart of stone with the heart of flesh and make you sensitive to his things again. All right, that's the first thing. The second thing is your nose, all right? We can smell things. You got a sense of smell, all right? And so does God. What? Let your life be an, a, a, an aroma, a fragrance, a beautiful, make it a living sacrifice, a sweet smell, a sweet fragrance unto God. Your, anything we sacrifice, your life is a sacrifice. The prayers we offer up to God, ah, let it just, mmm, yeah. Well, I use all these, that's why I get those, those essential oils now, right? Ah, I just want to smell like Christmas. Let it just smell like this. It matters. It matters what the stuff smells like. Oh, dang, it smells like bud right now. Man, and now you think of all these other things. That matters. All right, the third thing, your ears. What you hear matters. What do you hear? Do you wake up in the morning and your parents are yelling at you, telling you how crappy you are? Or do you, are you saying that to your kids? Or I don't know. But whatever you hear matters. That shapes things. What are you hearing? Because the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. How does faith come? By hearing and hearing the word of God and hearing you heard the good news. Somebody communicated it to you. You heard the good news. So what you hear matters. That means you could also hear bad news. What are these rappers telling you? Oh, it's a whole lot of red and you're hearing that whole album that just dropped. Oh, I'm waiting for this new. Uh, you're listening to that and that's going in. Uh, it's just music though. It's just. Uh, that's a whole something else. We'll talk about that too. How the devil's in charge of all that. Yep, it's real. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crazy about that. I'm crazy about Jesus. And dang, the more he reveals, the more truth comes out. So let's go. All right, next one, next one, next one. Your mouth. That's the next one, right? Now, this is not in any specific order. It's just things that I wrote down. Your mouth is another gate. The things that you say matter. What are you saying to others? Is God giving you grace? Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth except that which is good to the edifying of the hearers. Is that, are you speaking grace to those that are hearing it? Or are you cursing things? Because life and death are in the power of the tongue. You're speaking life, speaking death. What are you doing? That matters. Well, I mean, I'm just saying, I just said it. I just said, uh, that's why you can't say, oh, man, I just want to kill myself. Oh, I want to, uh, man, I wish that guy was dead. No, you can't ever say that. Father, I'm just kidding. I don't want to kill myself. Father, thank you so much for your life and live that life in abundance. All right? The things that you say matter. God created the earth. Man, all right, all right, next one, next one. Uh, the touch. The things that you touch matter. Right? This is the temple. Back then, if you had leprosy, you couldn't touch something else or else you made that thing unclean. The things you touch, where are you going? Oh, you're just going to touch this? Are you touching someone that's not your spouse? Are you doing this? Are you touching this part of the face? But then that leads to more touching. Then that leads to some other different types of touching. And now what? We're supposed to flee from temptation, right? All types of fornication. Not just, oh, the bed is undefiled. Well, that means that the bed can be defiled. So let's not defile it. Let's flee from stuff. The stuff that you touch, not just sexual sin, but in general. What are you doing? Are you hurting people with these things? Are you committing acts? Moses killed a man. You know, what are we doing? Those things matter. So you are constantly, constantly, if you forget, don't ever be lax. Keep a sober mind, like the Bible says, because the enemy is like a, he's a roaring lion seeking for someone he can devour. Your guard is down. Boom, he's going to come in just like they did in Capitol Hill. 
But even worse, like World War Z zombies, just running all up in you. And you're not even going to know that, ah, it's just a little bit. It's okay. It's not. And then they're inside running amok. Now you can't grow. They stunt your spiritual growth. They, they callous all around your spirit to where you can't even hear God's voice, that still small voice. So dang, I didn't even get to talk about all the stuff I want to talk about with those things. We're going to go. We're going to make another one. I know we're talking about Calvinism and Arminianism, but we're going to have to go here too at the same time. Thank you, Father. We love you, Lord. Get subscribed. If you like what you heard, come to the channel. Put the notifications on so you don't miss. Everything's going to be on YouTube. You get it last if you're on Instagram. I love you too, but dang, I can't be everywhere all at once as we talk about engagement and social media. So we love you, Lord. If you like it, let's go. Share it if I communicated it well to where, dang, man, I want to communicate that, but I don't really know it yet. Okay, cool. Let me say it until you've got it, and then you can say it in a better way to where God ah, organizes it and creates that correct combination of words and all that stuff to where, dang, it's just so good now, all right? We love you, Lord. Let's go get him, Father. Don't let your guard down because the enemy's real, man. They're trying to come through. you got at least those gates that you can stand fast and say, Holy Spirit, Father, let me be mindful of these things. What am I looking at? Are they honoring you? What am I putting in my mouth? Is this honoring this temple of the living God that lives in me? The things that I'm hearing, is that honoring the living God that lives in me? Things that I'm touching, where I'm going, are those honoring the living God that lives in me? What am I putting, what am I smelling, what am I around, Lord? Is that setting the atmosphere? Is this my life a sweet offering to you, Father? That's what's up. We love you so much. Let's go get him. Ah! Thank you, Father. It's our honor. All your sons, all your daughters give you praise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father.